Hey everyone, welcome to our kitchen in New York City. My name is Brian, and this is my lovely wife, Shaleen. And today we're going to be making... Chipino. And what is Chipino? Chipino is a seafood stew that originated in San Francisco when Italian-American immigrants came over and would go fishing and would use their catch to make dinner. Right, and Chipino is very similar to what you might find in Marseille, France. Over there, they call it bouillabaisse, but essentially, I mean, it's almost the same recipe. So we're making an Italian seafood stew, perfect for a freezing cold winter day like today here in New York City. You're gonna love this recipe, so stick around. Today's recipe begins with dicing up an onion, and I'm sure everybody knows how to do that, so I'll just skip on to the next step, and that's dicing up a bulb of fennel. The first thing you want to do is take the stalks off the bulb, and next we're going to peel off sort of this outer layer here that's got some dirt on it. In a way, it's kind of like peeling an onion. Now you don't want to peel off too much, so if there's some dirt on the inside, you can just scrape that off with your carrot peeler. Just so everything's nice and clean. Next, we're going to take our knife and cut the bottom off the bulb. And then we're going to treat this sort of just like an onion. We're going to cut it in half say lengthwise works best and then lay those flat and just dice them up just like you would an onion next I'm going to mince up about four cloves of garlic just use the side of your knife to smash each clove. And then chop your garlic into a fine dice. And now it's time to start cooking. In a stock pot or a Dutch oven, over medium heat, you want to add some olive oil. And after a few minutes, when the pot is nice and hot, we're going to go ahead and add our diced onion and fennel. And we're going to let these soften for about 5 or 10 minutes over medium heat. Once they're nice and soft, we're going to add in the garlic. And a couple of teaspoons of red pepper flakes. Another minute or two later, we're going to add in a large can of diced tomatoes. Add in a heaping tablespoon of tomato paste and stir this all together. Add in a cup and a half of dry white wine. I'm using an Italian white wine, of course, it's Pinot Grigio. And then add in a quart of seafood stock. Add some good salt, some fresh ground black pepper, and then we'll give that a stir and let this heat up for a few minutes so all those flavors can come together. In the meantime, we're gonna cut up our fish. And today I bought a nice big filet here this is cod, and you can see that the skin has been removed. And if you can't find cod, a perfect substitution for this would be halibut. In a pinch, you could even use salmon, but my preference is to use one of the white fish, either cod or halibut, and I do prefer cod. And what we're going to do is just cut this fish into about one inch cubes, just like this. Back on the stovetop, 
give the broth a little stir. And how about a taste? If you need any salt or pepper, now is the time to adjust those seasonings. Now we're going to add in our seafood, and I'm starting with these little neck clams. I scrubbed and rinsed these off in this colander in the sink, and anywhere from about 10 to 12 clams would be perfect. After a minute or two, I'm going to add in these lobster tails, and of course you could use crab legs or you could use mussels. Whatever you use is up to you, because remember, this stew would be made by fishermen who would go out and bring home the catch of the day. So the ingredients would vary depending on the fish they caught that particular day. So just use whatever is in the store that looks freshest to you. And what's important now is now that the fish is in, you really don't want to stir it you know, too, too much. If you overly stir this, all that white fish is going to break apart. And you don't really want that. You still want some substantial pieces of white fish in there. So we're gonna give this about a minute or two to heat up. The last ingredient we're gonna add is about a pound of shrimp. So these have been deveined and rinsed and cleaned. And we're gonna put those in last because they take the shortest amount to cook. And you really don't wanna overcook anything in here because if you overcook seafood, it has the tendency to get chewy and really unappetizing. And for a garnish, I'm gonna quickly chop up some fresh Italian parsley, and nothing smells better than fresh parsley when it's chopped up like this. It smells great. Now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, it is time to serve and taste the Chipino Italian seafood stew. I mean, just take a look at that. How good does this look already? And we haven't even plated it up. My mouth is watering. It smells so good. Those shrimps are gonna be so delicious. The tomatoes. We've got the little neck clams. Now, if you find any unopened clams in here, just throw those out. You don't want those. And this is basically how you know when your clams are, are done because they're gonna be open. You can look, some of that white fish is caught in with those clams. You can see the onion, the fennel, the lobster tail, all of this piping hot on this freezing cold day in New York City. It just doesn't get any better than this. I am so excited to try this. And we're gonna sprinkle that with a little bit of the fresh parsley just for a little bit of color and a little bit of that fresh parsley flavor. And no seafood stew should be served without some bread. And I've got these little crostinis. I'm gonna put some over here, put some over there. This is going to be delicious. I cannot wait to give this chopino a taste. Okay, so here we have our chopino, our seafood stew. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready to taste this. What do you think? Absolutely. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna try the broth first. Let ladies go first. <laughs> Such a gentleman. <laughs> he tries. Mm. Really good. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. Wow. Chili flakes add a nice little kick. Mm, that's really good. Try a little bit of that fennel. Oh, I like the, the, the little bit. Mm. What I'm trying to say is I like the little hint of anise flavor you get with the fennel. It's not overwhelming like black licorice, but it's just that little hint of licorice flavor that it just tastes great without overwhelming the stew. Mm. The cod's really good too. Mm hmm. I agree. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Going in for a crostini. <laughs> we need some butter for this. 
A little dunking action. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's great. I'm going for a clam. Hmm. This is so good. It's fantastic. I can't wait to get into that that lobster tail. I know. Um, this is fantastic. The the broth is so good with all this seafood coming together and really making this broth just fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's hot. It's freezing cold outside. This <laughs> is just like a perfect way to warm up uh, in the winter time. I think it's delicious. I need to try a little crostini as well. <laughs> These need some butter though. It's they're worth it. They're definitely a nice plus. Hmm. This is a fantastic recipe. Mm -hmm. Giopino, you know, Italian style fish stew. Give this recipe a try if you've never tried it before. If you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on Giopino or a Bouillabaisse. base. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos come out. And of course, keep, keep on, on cooking. cooking. <laughs> Buon appetito.